Hi, welcome to Woodset Central. It's been a while since I put up uh, a video. This is mainly because it's been so hot up in the loft, as many of you will know. Tonight I'll show you some running, but I also thought I'd show you the complete layout and how I've set up the Megapoint control system with the ECOS to actually uh, do route control. This comes a little later in the video. So sit back and enjoy. Class 50 leaves to the north. Meanwhile, waiting on a red, we've got a Class 55 hauling a train from the south. Class 55 arrives on platform 3 and pulls slowly to a halt.
This is track view, courtesy of the SQ13 track mounted camera. The bright white lights that show up between the rails are actually the infrared detectors for the signals. Uh, normally you can't see them but the camera is sensitive to infrared light and uh, shows them as a white blob as we go over them. Normally they're, uh, they can't be seen. We're now moving out into the recent extension I did to the track uh, which at this moment doesn't have any scenery. We've now come full circle. We're now on the now going through the fiddle yard, which is on the rear side of the track, which is not normally seen. So this is the schematic for the would set central layout. It comprises of four main tracks that run round the full circumference of the layout. There's the red track which loops round and through the red fiddle yard. There's the blue track which loops round. The green track which loops round and the black track which again loops round through the black fiddle yard. So I've got six individual sidings in the fiddle yards for storage of rolling stock. Uh, off here is a branch off to the turntable where I can store my locomotives. And this branch here takes me into the DMU service area and down here we've got some further sidings. The track plan is repeated on the ECOS controller as you can see here and it's split over a number of pages so the main page shows the station area with the four tracks running through it uh, one there two there, three there and four there and then I can switch pages into the red uh, fiddle yard or into the black fiddle yard as I need to or into the area representing the uh, storage area of the turntable and this is just by touch control. The ECOS is linked up to Megapoint controllers which allows me to um, select routes through the uh, various parts of the station. So at the moment the main line is routing through left to right across the top here and uh, the um, second line is routing this way uh, through um, bypassing the station and the other two lines are in the straight through position the fourth line is actually routed into the 
um, area of the DMUs. So if, I, for instance, now I wanted to route a train from this top line here down all the way into this bottom line, I can select a route to do that purely by selecting one of these route buttons. And you see the points change to select a route which now comes down through here and into the bottom line. Um, likewise if I wish to change those points back into the main lines I can do that again by selecting a single button. And the same is true of the storage areas um, in the sidings. So if I want to select a particular siding I can do purely by pressing the root button and it will automatically select the points that will take the train into the unoccupied siding. We've got root occupancy on the system so as you can see from the diagram here the top siding, the siding closest to me uh, is actually occupied and there are two unoccupied sidings. Likewise, if we look at the main station layout, we've got trains occupying both the, the main platforms. And if I swing the camera round, there you can see the trains that are actually sat between the two platforms, as shown on the route indication. So looking at the ECOS as set at the moment we can see that we have trains occupying the two main platforms. Now assuming I wanted to take this train out towards the north uh, which is heading from left to right um, obviously the points are set against it here if I want to get up onto this main line but by setting pressing that route button there you can see you can see the points are now set in the correct sense in order to route the train out of the station and up onto the main line. If I want to route a train up onto this top platform here uh, I can do that by selecting this route here and you can see the points now route us through up to the top platform through this way and the points are correctly set for coming straight through for a non-stopping train so this gives us tremendous flexibility in operation and uh, I can certainly recommend this particular system.